and welcome to the Beauty is Found Within podcast, hosted by the beautiful Pippa Leslie. Pippa will be speaking about hers, other spiritual stories, perspectives, and journeys, so we can in turn find the right match of resonance that speaks to our heart and souls. Each week, she will be sharing topics around spirituality, manifestation, mindset, self-love, and personal growth, as well as personal interviews with our fellow soul family and friends. Hi guys, welcome back to the Beauty is Found Within podcast. I have just been so, so drawn today, as always, to come on and talk to you about something that's just happened to me. I've just been in the garden reading one of Wayne's books and whenever I read something so profound, I want to go and tell CJ. So CJ was just making some lunch and I ran over and I said, listen to this story, it's amazing. So I read this story to CJ and we're just having a general conversation about life and how, you know, is this a dream? And when we're dreaming, is that the reality? You know, just really deep spiritual conversations, which are amazing. And I and I just, we had this like 10, 15 minute conversation, really happy, really just expressing our thoughts so openly without any judgments, just a lovely flowing conversation. I went back outside, sat in the sun and it just a wave of emotion, of gratitude, of love, everything. It was just a wave of so many amazing emotions. It was like unconditional love just came over me from head to toe and I went inside and I said to CJ, I'm so inspired. I want to go and record this episode. But firstly, I want to tell you something. Now, this episode is all about attracting your soulmate, you know, and a soulmate can come in different forms, but ultimately you want to attract your dream man. So as I went in to speak to CJ, I had this vision and the wave of emotion that came to me when I was sat down was how that conversation we just had I manifested that to a T. You all know that I wrote a list last year about what I wanted in a dream man. CJ ticks every box plus more. You know, what I wanted was the basics and CJ is so much more than that. But I used to visualize every single day of what I wanted to do with him, you know, this dream man. And I remember there's been occasions like the other the other week we were like sat in bed reading a book together and it just hit me there again that wave of emotion of I've manifested this we just literally sat in bed both reading a book and that for me was something I visualized last year again today having just a simple spiritual conversation in my kitchen I remember being in Australia and I visualized that I visualized me stood in the kitchen with my dream man having a spiritual conversation and it just hit me and I just burst into tears and I hugged him and we just hugged each other and held each other so tight and we said it's just we're just so awake we're just awake everything's different we've shifted the whole our whole life is just completely transformed and it just it's just amazing how we see it so differently now. The world's just so different. So I wanted to just come on and talk to you about, you know, attracting your soulmate and attracting a twin flame, you know, whatever relationship it is that you want, because he or she is out there and you deserve that person. You really do. And, you know, a lot of people say they think, you know, by just, you know, visualizing him or her over a couple of weeks, they're going to just turn up. It doesn't really work like that. I always I always believe that they come into your life at the exact moment you need them to. But up to that point, you need to work on you because you can't expect, you know, this dream man or dream woman to come into your life and love you how you want them to if you're not loving yourself that way as well. So anyone who's listened to this now and this is kind of something you want and this applies to your relationships as well like if you're in a in a soulmate relationship right now and things are a little bit tough you know use this as well you know focus on on what you want in that partner you know what it is that you fell in love with 
so there's two aspects. So anyone who's single looking to attract this soulmate, for me, it's to get clear on exactly what you want. And, you know, in reality, they're not going to be all perfect. You know, we both we, we both come with with things that we don't like about each other, but we don't really talk about them much because they're just not worth talking about. They're just we just love each other unconditionally. You know, there's things that bug us about each other, but we just state it and it's sorted. You know, we both change, we both adapt for each other and our energies and it just works so just in flow and it's absolutely amazing. So if you're in a position where you want to manifest this soulmate and manifest this twin flame or whatever relationship it is, I want you to get really specific, you know, write down all the things that you want in this man or woman. Like I got specific, like I went to like sexual specific because I wanted to just go into the depths that make me feel alive in a relationship. Now my past relationships, I would probably say I've had a soulmate and karmic relationships and all of those relationships were meant for me because they were mirroring back things that I needed to work on. My last relationship, you know, was very emotionally abusive and I had to work on things that would trigger me with this with, with this man. And I'm thankful for all those relationships because they taught me something. Now, I've been in relationships where you feel like you're not going to be able to get out of it. You feel there's nothing better. Is this all? Is this all it is? You're scared to leave. You know, you're scared to spread your wings and, you know, leave that behind. And I totally get it. You know, when I left my ex partner, I had, you know, I had the dog and I knew the dog was staying with me and I had, you know, a bit of trouble with that. But it all worked out as it, as it should do. So wanting to attract a partner into your life all comes down to how you see yourself. Because if you want specifics in a relationship, you have to look at how amazing you are. So I want you to write down first all the amazing traits you have, all the things you love about yourself, because this person is going to love them too. And until you start loving those things about you, this man or woman will come in and just love them even more. So write a list of all the things that you love about you. And I want you to really visualize the best version of you, that woman or man that is within you, who is from your higher self, you know, part of the universe, you're operating on the highest vibrational frequency because that is where your soulmate and your relationship is going to be at when you hit that relationship. It's just magic. So once you've done that and you've visualized, you know, your amazing best self, I then want you to write a list of everything you want in a man or a woman. This can be sp specific. You have to get specific. I wrote down six over six foot. I wrote down her color, eye color, traits, what he loves what he does for a job, you know, what his mission is, what even things like I'm cooking dinner and I want him to come up behind me and just put his arms around me and, you know, put his head on my shoulder and just give me a kiss on the cheek. That is specific, you know, little things where like he just like touches my bum or like grabs my hand and gives me a kiss on the cheek and the forehead, you know, things like I wrote down being in bed of a night and we're just sat up reading, you know, in just in silence, no TV on, just but in bed, just, you know, both reading our books, immersed in our stories and our spiritual growth. And the other one was, you know, just having spiritual conversations with him. And there's so much more. And I just keep thinking, I used I used visual I visualized all of this. It is just amazing. And there's not one bit of me that I I do believe it because I believed it. You know, a lot of us get in the language of saying, I can't believe it. I'm so surprised. But you know, you do believe it. And it's not a surprise because you knew this was coming. You knew that this person was waiting for you and vice versa. So with, once you've done those lists, I want you to make it part of your visualization. You know, before you go to sleep every night is the most important time because you're going to go into your dreams. You know, you're going to be in dream consciousness because now you're in waking consciousness. So when you go to your dreams, you are going to be manifesting him or her while you're asleep. So the last couple of minutes before you go to bed, I want you to, if you can, find a lovely rock or a crystal, have it beside your bed, grab hold of it before bed. And I got this concept out of The Magic, which is an amazing book. And 
I want you to hold this rock or crystal and I want you to say what you're grateful for for today. So whatever good happened today, I want you to say thank you for that. I want you to just spend a couple of minutes with this rock or crystal in your hand and I want you to just visualize this man or woman in your life, visualize as I did, just, you know, if it's sat in bed, reading a book, walking down into a park, holding hands on an airplane, going traveling, you know, whatever it is, just really, really get specific with how you want to see your relationship. And this is the same if you're in a relationship. If you're in a relationship right now and it's not working great, but you love this person unconditionally and you want it to get better, the pro- the probably you're looking at the things that they're not. You're looking at that, you know, they're not tidy enough, they don't cook enough, they don't clean enough, they don't show you affection enough. And that's the wrong way of looking at a relationship. You want to look at what they are. Why did you fall in love with them? What is it that you want? What is it that you found attractive in them? You know, what made you want to be in a relationship with this with this person? I want you to get, if you're in a relationship, do the same have this rock in your hand or crystal and visualize your relationship being from that place you want, being from the place of, you know, love and affection and compassion and peace and just joy and communication and get really specific about that. And that will start to turn your relationship around and know in your heart and your soul that whatever is meant for you will stay, whatever is meant for you will go. It's just, it's a constant change of energy, a constant change of flow of energy. Everything is already intended. Everything is written. Your soulmate, your relationship, your karmic relationship, your twin flame, they are out there. And if you get in a relationship, it doesn't work out. It's okay. It's okay all these people coming in and out of your lives is okay. It's because they came in, they taught you a huge lesson. They, they, they came in with an amazing message. They came in to help you, to help you grow. And then they leave and it's okay. It doesn't mean you're a bad person. It doesn't mean you're not worthy. It doesn't mean that they don't love you. It's part of this thing we call life. People come and go. They will come into your life And I've had several relationships and they've been wonderful. You know, there's been great memories, but then, you know, I've had some that have been pretty tough, but I don't regret any of them. You know, they taught me what I needed to know at the time. So with CJ, I knew, I just knew he was on his way. And because of the story behind it and how incredible it is and the signs we're having every single day to remind us that the universe wants us together. The universe is pushing us together. Every day there is something to to just say, yep, you're together and we put you together. You're meant for each other. You're each other's soulmates, twin flames. And obviously me and CJ are twin flames. So, you know, the beginning of our relationship was just fire. It was just like out of this world. And he has been my mirror and I have been his mirror. And the first couple of months was hard because of the time apart and the, the the separation. And, you know, we mirrored back a few triggers, but then we work through them as a team. We work through them as a masculine and a feminine. And now we're just so, it's just so harmonious and we can just openly tell each other how we feel. We can openly just communicate and it's the most wonderful relationship ever. And I'm so present with that relationship. So wherever you are in your relationships, know that you can instantly change, you know, because for example, if you are in a relationship and it's pretty tough at the moment, you know, visualize how you want your relationship to look like, but don't forget to work on you because when you start to raise your vibration, your partner will think, oh, so he or she is operating from a higher level and they will want that energy. They will, they will be thriving off the energy. And if they're not, it's okay. But for you, it's your responsibility to visualize what you want in that relationship, how you want that relationship to be and really focus on, on the good instead of focusing on the bad. Cause you want to raise that vibration constantly and you know, you deserve it. So it's working on that self-love, that self-worth daily to raise your vibration, to match that frequency that you need to be on. Because once you hit that high vibrational frequency, there's just no going back. Um, me and CJ have just spoken about, you know, how like low vibrational and high vibrational, the lower vibrational people want to get to the higher vibrational. And anyone who's already on a high vibrational level, who's kind of like me at the moment, 
we've had this shift, we've had this awakening. And, you know, a lot of people out there will try to, we call them vampires, will try to suck the energy out from you, will try to bring your energy down. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Because I would, you know, a, a past version of me would have said, you know, well, I don't want people to suck my energy. That's not fair. But I'm not coming from a place of ego anymore. That is for them to do that because they're maybe testing me because I have now healthy, clear boundaries where, yeah, like if I want to help someone raise a vibration, I help them on my terms. I help them because I want to help them because I'm in service to others. I'm not coming from ego anymore. Whenever I help someone, it's because I'm in service to others. And my my values and virtues go from that. You know, Latsu in the Tao Te Ching, he talks about the four values, the four virtues, and it's translated into our terms as reverence for all life, which is just respect for everything, respect for nature, respect for animals, respect for humans, every living thing, service to others giving, supporting, helping others just because you want to, because that is who you are. Not because of what you get back, not because of what's in it for me, because of you want you. When you're living in service to others, you are living your purpose. You are living out your purpose because we are all here to help people. We are all here to be in service to others. It's being kind and gentle. They are the four main virtues that I live by day by day. And when you get into those virtues and those values, you just see your life transform. So if any of you haven't watched The Shift yet by Wayne Dyer, you need to watch it. It's absolutely incredible. It will definitely shift your perception, your life, your values, your energy, everything. Everything about you will change when you start to realize that you control everything. You, It's just time is an illusion everything is just flowing as it should do. You know, I have no, I have no worries about outcome. I have no worries about where I'm going. I have no worries about who's coming in out of my life. It's just, everything is meant. Everything is intended from the moment you were born. All of this that has happened in whatever, how many years you've been here has all been leading to this exact moment, this exact second you're listening to my voice. Every step has been to this point and this was already written from the day you were born, from the day you were conceived. And it's just a wonderful thought. It is an absolutely wonderful thought. And even when me and CJ, CJ is really into his science and his sci-fi, and we were looking at, if you look up into the sky, I can't remember the name of it now, CJ will go mad for not me letting remember, but if you look into the sky, they've taken photos with obviously a really good telescope of maybe a postage stamp size of how many other galaxies are in our universe outside of our universe it's just absolutely crazy so there is that much life out there and when you think about it how small we are compared to that it's just it makes life just think oh wow like considering what's out there and how much we don't know and how many other galaxies there are and that's just a postage stamp in the sky can you imagine how many galaxies and other universes are out there it's just insane So next time you're worrying about something and next time you're stressed about something or next time you have anxiety over something, just go outside and look up to the the moon, look up to the stars, look up to the planets and just think, wow, there is so much out there and we're just living this amazing life that's just, you know, we're spiritual beings having a human experience. We need to experience the best we can. We're only here for a very short time as a human, as a physical being and our spirit and our soul will live on and live on and live on. And when we get to that point, it's just, it's, it's so unexplainable. It's just, it's so serene. It's so beautiful. It's just amazing. The words, I know how it feels. I'm putting it into words. There is no words. It is universal. It is just mind blowing, but so calm and so relaxing and I want that for everyone I really want that for everyone I really do and I want to be the person to help you get there this is why mother earth came to me this is why I heal through mother earth because she knows she knows and everything we're all connected and this is why I want to help others help others heal and 
just live in this serene, amazing life that we, we're in right now. So I wanted to just come on and talk to you about that today of how, you know, about manifesting a soulmate because he or she is out there, you know, and even if your next relationship it isn't that person, it doesn't matter because they are still out there. It doesn't matter about, you know, we, we had all this, um, in high school, we would, or even primary school, we'd, uh, this is me, whether anyone else can relate to this. We would have this concept of, oh, before I'm 30, I'll be married. I'll have a house. I'll have a car. I'll have a baby. And it's not like that. Like we have, we don't have our life planned out. So, you know, we're conditioned to think that we'll meet the one, you know, before we're 30. And that isn't a case for some people. I have a client who met her soulmate at 60. And that in itself is how it works. And when you let go of the outcome and you just know every person who comes in and out of your life is meant, it just makes everything so much better because you're just in a state of whatever happens, happens, and everything is flowing to you. Nothing will pass you by. And everything is intended and already written. And just think of how amazing life that would be for just to be at peace every day, knowing that everything you need is on its way. It won't pass you by. Everything you need to learn is on its way. So I'm going to leave you there. If you have any questions or you want to explore any of this anymore, give me a shout. Just message me, send me an email. I would love to work with some of you. I would really love to work with some of you. I offer 20 minute healing consultation calls to discover, you know, what it is that could be something that's blocking you from living this high vibrational life and really, really discovering, you know, these parts of you that need to be healed and letting me help you heal them. So if any of you would love to chat to me and connect to me, my free consultation healing calls, the form is on my website. The website link will be in the show notes. And I just can't wait to chat to some of you and connect with some of you and just share my energy because I live in service to others and that is what I want to do. And that is what my purpose is and my mission. So wherever you are in the world, I hope you're having a beautiful day. I send you love and light always and I will chat to you all soon. Bye for now.